Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirty-two in chapter twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four is about capacitors, dial electrics, electric energy storage. So there you can see we have this circuit, right, with the four capacitors C one, C two, C three, C four, right. Now we need to determine the equivalent capacitance between points A and B. So how can we consider it? So first, we look at the capacitor C one, C two. This is a power connection, right? And it can be replaced with capacitance C one, two. Agree? As we know, this is a power connection, so we have the equation for the equivalent capacitance C one, two. It equals C one plus C two. And then we look at the capacitor C three and C four. This is still power connection, so we have the Uh, equivalent capacitance three, three four right, and then the capacitance C three four just equal to C three plus C four because this is a parallel connection, right? Yes. Now we look at the circuit A to B, and it can be considered as the capacitor C one to series connection with the capacitor C three four. Agree. Therefore, we can write the equation for the equivalent capacitors one, two, three, four in this、uh, equation. Right? This is the series connection, and then input C one to C three four. We get the equation look like this one. Convert the equation, we get the final answer about the equivalent capacitance for this circuit zero. Next one determine the charge on each capacitor if this.、Uh, VBA is a potential difference from point A to point B is V. So how can we do that? We can see first one we write down the capacitors, the equivalent capacitors for the circuit, right? Now we can see we need to determine the charge on each capacitor. First part we can determine the charge on this branches, main branches, branches, right? And these branches we can consider as Q one, two, three, four, right? And this branch is equal to Q one two equal to Q three four right because it's from the starting point to the end point it must equal. And this Q one two three four uses the capacitance, uh, equivalent capacitance for a circuit C one two three four times V. You get it there, right? Now you can see, you get is a, the next step is a how can we get is a charge on Q one. How can we get the charge on Q two? It looks like we need to determine the potential for V one and V two, right? So you can see that is easy, uh, because we know V one and V two is a power connection. The potential must equal, right? And it also equal to the V one two. We can consider this、uh, is V one two. Just uh, is use the charge Q one two divided by the equivalent capacitance. C one two, agree? Yes. And this there, this a、uh, Q one two as we talk about. We can say it is there. So we input it inside, right? As the equivalent capacitance C one two three four. And then you can say we input this、uh, part inside. And the C one two we input it there. Then we get the answer at zero. This is a potential for V one, V two. Similarly, we can get the potential potential for V three and V four, right? As this one, we use the Q three four divided by the equivalent capacitance C three four and input the Q three four. It is zero, right? So input it inside. And the C three four it is there, so we input it inside, and then we get the equation for it at there. So we write it there. Now things become very easy. Now you know the V one, V two, V three, V four, and you know the capacitance C one, C two, C three, C four. So it's very easy for you get the charge for Q one. You just use the C one times V one, right? And C one is given, V one is there, so you put it inside. You get answer zero. Similarly, you can get the charge Q two by using C two times V two. You get the charge Q three by using the C three times V three. Get the charge Q four by using C four times V four. Thank you.